This is Rocky with PrankLifestyle.com and today we want to talk about a karmic tailwind, a good karma tailwind, which basically means that you have good karma like going your way. And the way you do that is like you have to gener- actively generate the good karma. I mean, yeah, you can have good karma from the past and like, you know, using up some of your good karma. But, you know, if the karmic bank is, you know, needs some help, needs some good karma, you have to generate that daily good karma through service and tithing. And when you do massive service and you consistently tithe, you'll have that good karma tailwind, which means, you know, like on a, on an airplane, when the airplane's flying into the wind, it's actually moving slower than it's supposed to and it burns more fuel. But when you're flying with the wind, you actually go faster and um, you use less energy and things just happen like they flow. Like one time I remember I was on an airplane uh, from Europe and I think we were over the ocean or somewhere over Europe, but the plane was going like 667 miles an hour, which is faster than the speed of sound. But it was because of the tailwind. I, I didn't hear a sonic boom or anything, but you know I looked at the little monitor thing and we were doing faster than the speed of sound in the airplane because the tailwind, because normally the plane was traveling at like 500 some miles an hour, 560, you know, 600 miles an hour. But when you got that, that tailwind, it pushed it up where it was going faster than the speed of sound, according to the instruments. Um, and so that was a good, you know, it's a good example of like a good karma tailwind. I know when I go and I do service, um, things flow to me. When I'm consistently tithing, you know, to the proper places, places that actually do good, and not just spending the money on a bunch of fluff or administration or like 80% of the money goes to admin and the, the CEO is getting a million dollars a year salary, you know, you want to tie it to like a place that's, you know, like one of the prime killing organizations or like the local food bank. And I know when I go to the local food bank, like, business comes my way without me having to try and but you have to do it consistently and I try to go at least once or twice a week I used to go more often um, but when I go in there you know we, we have all the food blessed I not, not only just going there to you know move food around organize it like most people are doing in there which is good it's good you know good karma um, but you know when I go in there and I have all the food blessed And these are giant warehouse, like as big as a Walmart or maybe two Walmarts or like a Costco or Sam's Club. Very, very big, 40 foot ceilings to the roof full of stuff, forklifts going all over the place. Um, And they feed like 70,000 meals a a week out of there. So like every month, you know, talking like 280,000 meals, every four months, like a million people eating. Um, or a million meals. It might not be like, you know, a million new people, like different people. It's the same people eat this, you know, lunch and then dinner and then, so they count that as a meal. Um, and I also like to go to the, the community pool and we have the, the pool blessed and we visit like other places. Like we, we have that, that pool blessed. And so it's like, and then we leave. And then it's like, like the hotel we're at like a couple weeks ago. We had the pool super blessed, and and then we left the next day, and I didn't pull the energy. I left it there to be sucked up by all the people swimming in the pool. It's a very busy hotel, so it doesn't take long for them to suck up the energy. Like the the pool we have, um, the local pool, it's a very big pool, and hundreds of people go in there a day, and they suck that energy out like pretty quickly. So every time we go there, we keep energizing it, and then all the people are swimming in there, it like sucks it out. Like there was another pool at the gym where there's like hundreds of old people swimming there. Uh, and, and also of all, all ages. Um, but mainly it's like a lot of old people doing like uh, aquatic uh, aerobics or volleyball in the pool. Like a lot of, you know, seniors. And they're going in there and they're, they have so much energy and laughing and like, they're going wild and I'm like, who are these guys? Like, like party on, like, but they're absorbing the energy in the water and, they, and they're and they super energized from it. And their bodies also get rejuvenated. 
And then, you know, it's like good karma for me. So everywhere I go, we're doing like these little things to generate passively good karma. I mean, we have to do the work first, but then it comes back like, you know, until the energy gets used up and then, you know, have to do it again. But I notice when I'm tithing consistently, there's like a good karma tailwind. And, and I notice when I don't tithe enough or stop tithing or things got tight and then I stopped tithing as much then everything gets tight so even if like things are super tight and you only have a dollar to give give that dollar and you'll you'll see money come back um, but you have to do both though if you want you know prosperity you got to give prosperity and if you want to you know good karma in general which will, we will bring prosperity also but you should be doing both um, it's like an event I was just at. Almost the whole time, I was doing service. Uh, you know, like in the background and like helping out with the meals, helping prepare the breakfast every morning. Having to get up at like five forty-five, meditate, and then like help help with the breakfast, and then and then we'd have that, and then like. A few hours later, I'd have to help with like, you know, getting food ready and snacks for, um, you know, the kids that are up there. And then lunchtime came. Then I was like helping out with the lunch, and then and then dinner time. And in between this time, you know, the lunch, helping prepare food and move food and clean food and doing all the, you know, a bunch of other stuff too. On top of that. Um, but I, but I know, and I was also, you know, had my stuff there, my oils and my crystals, and I had a table there, and most of the time I wasn't even there. But I still, you know, had a lot of sales, and every time I left and came back, people had stuff there. They're say, they hey, my name's whatever. They put their name on it on the bag and like put it there. And I remember once I I was out doing the service, I came back and there was like four bags of stuff for people want to buy and and then when I was there like people just kept coming and coming and coming and then I go do service again and then like it would just flow to me because I had that good karma tailwind and it also is an outlet for, for en excess energy because a lot of people meditate but they don't release all the energy and they get congested and a way to have a lot of energy is you got to release big. You got to release a lot of energy to the world, and then you get more. And then your chakras get bigger, your energy gets bigger. So I try to have all these different things that are generating good karma for me. And even my business is service. Because years ago, I was like, how can I combine my spirituality and my business and generate good karma at the same time? So, you know, when we provide like spray, you know, the the healing sprays to people and they use it and they feel better that's a good karmic royalty for me or I, I have lavender oil somebody use it in their bath and the water gets energized and their, their chakras get purified well that's a good karmic royalty for me and so I've got thousands of bottles I've sold and healing crystals people do crystal healing and then guess what some of that good karma comes back to me I at least I like to think so but like so I have all these different things, like my finger in different pies, so to speak. You know, like, and there's many other ways too I do service. But I mean, even doing Twin Hearts daily is a service. You're blessing the earth. It's actually one of the most powerful ways to do service. And you don't have to go anywhere. Like when I do the food bank, I got to drive 30 minutes there and back and then spend two hours there. So that's like three hours of time used up. But I still do it though. But I could do Twin Hearts for 30 minutes and, and, and like fill my aura with pink light. I, I become more attractive and it generates good karma, like massive good karma at the same time. So there's many different ways to do service. I mean, one, one way is you can play the mantras like the Masachoa Kokusui, like the Gayatra Mantra, the Om. It purifies the whole area you're in. So that's like a, a good way to generate karma, a good karma. Uh, like the Lakshmi Mantra, pure, you know, like fills a place with prosperity energy, activates the heart chakra, and then the energy radiates out like way past your house, way past your house. 
depends on what, what, what mantra it is, but like the Gayatri mantra, that energy can radiate for hundreds of miles. I mean, not just sit in your room, that energy just goes through the walls and like radiates to the whole city. Um, so that's another passive way to do service. You just turn it on and, it, and it's just doing it like on its own. But yeah, active generation of good karma to get that good karma tailwind going. Check out our blog and our, us on YouTube, Prank Lifestyle. Have a good one.